it's allotment news with me Sarah Seeley. Um, today is Saturday and I'm down here with my beautiful other half and we are get, we're kind of getting most of the allotment ready for winter. Um, as you can see behind me there's a beautiful little bee enjoying my cosmos there which I love and I'm going to grow these look there's a bee there too. I'm going to be growing these every year because these are just stunning. I hope you can hear a bee. That's really nice. We've got to provide nice little colourful friendly environments for our little buzzy friends because they do so much for us and uh, it's been a joy to see and hear all of these beautiful bees enjoying my cosmos and uh, I hope you enjoy looking at them. Okay, well I was hoping to have brought you more footage from the allotment today however uh, I forgot to film because I was too busy so I'm now showing you our haul from today. Look at this bevy of delights. Here we have some rainbow chard um, it's still going, um, it's going to last us for a while longer, I'm hoping it's going to last us for a few months yet, but it's growing really well. Um, look at these, these are lovely peppers from my greenhouse. We are going to have like a Chinese style stir fry tonight, and they are going to feature. Uh, red cabbage, now look at that beautiful little specimen. That is rather perfect. A single leek. Now, we only brought one back simply because we only need one tonight, but we have an insane amount of leeks going on and we're going to um, be making bucket loads of leek and potato soup over the winter. The jingling jangling you can hear in the background is my dog. There you go. Um, in here we have some more heritage carrots. Why? I hear you ask, are they in a perspex bowl of water? The reason being, uh, my friends, is that these for some reason we're a little bit flaccid uh, and nobody wants a flaccid carrot so I put them in some water and you know what they're going all a bit turgid look at me and my terminology um, so that rescue mission is working quite well look at that for a little ensemble of coloured beetroot some white ones some bright pinky ones some dark ones but look at that it's lonely it's only one of its kind look at that yellow beetroot pretty amazeballs um, and over here yes I've mentioned them a lot four butternut squash the last four the final four um, it's like the X Factor final but here they are um, ready to be made into uh, Thai squash soup which I've made a batch of today, or potentially a nice butternut squash salad with some feta. Ooh, always nice. So there we go. That is today's allotment hoard. As I said to you, I was hoping to bring you some more footage from the allotment, but time escaped me and I was just too damn busy. Sorry. Um, However, we've had a very good day. El Capitano has been strimming for Britain and our pathways are clear. Our borders have been re-established and we've hacked back some massive trees that needed a bit of attention. So that's all gone on. I've been clearing my raised beds and I've now successfully, well, I'm nearly finished, got one more bed to go, done four strawberry beds, which, that's the dog barking, um, which should be marvellous for next year. My daughter reliably <coughs> informed me, oh, more barking. Uh, my daughter reliably informed me that our strawberry beds this year were substandard. Shh, Judy, I'm filming. Our strawberry beds were um, substandard, so I've had to up my game. Uh, I will be showing you those when I go back down there. And I'm sorry for the barking dog. Duke, Duke, Duke. You see, this is real life. Um, there we go, uh, we've timed it perfectly because it was nice and dry down there today and uh, we've come home and it's pouring with rain. I'm just going to show you this dog who's going a bit nutty. Oh and he's, he doesn't care. Right, there we go, that is today's allotment news. The dog's barking his own reflection in the television. This is brilliant. Uh, have a good one and I'll speak to you soon.